hello everyone. It's dry. I'm back. Yes, I'm actually up early for once. You know why? Because I went to bed early. So, woke up around 4, had it, watched some videos to wake myself up. Hopefully I'm all set, ready to go. So I can upload more videos in the morning. To the afternoon before I go to work. Yes, yes, I'm working three days now. I had that amazing break. You know, I enjoyed my five days. Because, guys, we got Dragon Quest done. Finally got those Street Fighter 2 videos I wanted to do. The extra Street Fighter 2 inverted editions that I wanted to get out of the way and be finished. Which I'm glad that happened. Um, set myself, trying to set myself up with the bonus content. Uh, I haven't heard from Vegister in a while. Uh, Vegister might know where the gray fragments are because I have no clue where the hell they are so if Vegister could respond that would be awesome because dude I have no clue where the gray fragments actually are I don't remember and I need help uh, I'll, I'll do what you say it's just going to take me a while again because I have to buy all the fragments <laughs> beat up a certain requirement of enemies that actually need the monster hearts. Need to find out what they are, beat them until I get the monster hearts, which is going to take some time. Until I can recruit the money bag or whatever else to the freaking monster park. Then I got to train rough with all the hearts available. Pair myself up to level 99, then use the seeds that I collected throughout the entire game. Spread them out evenly. Get the equipment in the game from gambling. Yes, there's gambling in the game. In Dragon Quest 7. Then I have to get all those cool, cool weapons from the Sea Dragon, which they're new ones, obviously. Which I've seen for the post game. There's new items that I need. And more money. To buy. Get higher equipment. <laughs> and then that should probably be. Then we should probably be ready for what to come. Trust me, guys. When we're going to eventually go back to Dragon Quest and go to that dungeon, it's no joke. It's literally just no fucking joke. It will fuck me up. It will make me rage. It will probably might help me with other dungeons, such as the ones that I've been training in and not fighting bosses in. Uh, those types of ones. Because I know some of the bosses are a pain in the ass. It'd be smart for me to go find some enemies that dropped specific seeds so I can get more seeds out of them so I can get more stat boosts, which might be more helpful. But I'm waiting for Vegeta to tell me the great fragment location so I have the fragments, so I have them all set, so then I can get everything else started. And let me be honest, Vegeta, I've been really hesitant on going to the gambling because... I suck at gambling games. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not good at gambling games. Um, I suck. Last time I played gambling, I lost most of my money, and I got really pissed. That's why I don't play gambling games. I just get really frustrated. I have the worst luck when it comes to those types of games. Just don't even expect me to fucking be good at it. Dude, I'm probably going to pass it to fucking Toast, because Toast is somehow stupidly good at the casino game. So yeah, I might not even play Dragon Quest XI. Toast might. <laughs> or you might have to make a compromise that I do other Let's Plays, and when he comes back, that he gets to do them. Which I will make a compromise for. I mean, when was the last Let's Play Toast played? Oh, yeah, Angry Birds. Oh, yeah. I don't remember how that turned out. But, but, just understand us, guys. Angry, let's be honest here. Did you want to watch five more maps of Angry Birds alone? I mean, you probably would have wanted to. But, we're used to OG Angry Birds, where it wasn't, oh, go get the stars and all that crap. No, it wasn't like that. It was just go through the level, and you can pass. The stars, 
the score was fucking optional. It was optional. You didn't. It wasn't fucking mandatory to freaking make it to the next stage and make it to the other stages either. It was mandatory. It wasn't mandatory. It was optional. Optional. For fuck sake, how do they fuck that up? Why? So they just make more money? They like, already have? Uh, that's what just pisses me off about buy to model games like this one. This is why I don't buy anything in this game, because I know it's going to suck me in. And make me, like, buy and buy and buy and buy and buy until there's nothing left. I'm trying to be smart with my money, guys. There's games in the 3 store I actually want to buy. In practice... So I can make Let's Plays out of them. And we're still waiting. You know what? Just for today, guys. I'll make two videos of just this waiting screen again. Just talk out of my mind. I'll see you when the game's actually loaded. Peace.